Hello and welcome everyone to another video on Tutor LMS Academy. Today's tutorial is going to be on how we can integrate Google Classroom with Tutor LMS. Now we've had a video on our channel on this topic before, but since then some things have changed. So this is an updated version of the same tutorial. So to start off, we have to go right into the Google Developer Console. So just search that up on Google and just come to this site. Once here, we need to go ahead and click on create project and create a new project. So let's go ahead and call this tutor LMS and hit create. So once the project is created, we're going to come to this menu and click on APIs and services. In the APIs and services menu, we're going to click on enable APIs and services. And from here, we need to search for classroom. This will bring up the Google Classroom API. Click on that and just enable this API. After you enable this API, we need to configure the OAuth consent screen for this API. So go ahead and click on OAuth consent screen and then we need to configure this. So first of all, we're going to select external and click create. After we come to this screen in the app information, go ahead and fill out your app information according to how you want to set this up. So you need to put an app name. Since this is for Google Classroom and Tutor LMS, we're going to call this Tutor LMS Classroom. You need to add a user support email and you need to fill out the developer contact information. After you complete filling out all the information, just hit save and continue. Then we'll come to the scope screen and we actually don't need to add any scopes for this tutorial. So go ahead and click save and continue. Lastly, if you want to add any test users, this is where you can add it, but we're not going to need that since we are actually not going to keep this app on the testing phase. We're going to publish it. So just click save and continue once again. After you're done with all of that, you're going to come to the summary screen. So just double check all the information that you've put in and then scroll down and click back to dashboard. So once you've come to the dashboard, you're going to see this option where it says that the app is currently being in the testing phase. So we're just going to go and click publish app to push it to production and take it out of the testing phase. Otherwise, it might not work for you. Once we're done with all of that, we're going to go ahead and click on credentials. From the credentials tab, we click here, create credentials, and we're going to select OAuth client ID. So over here, we need to select our application type. We're going to be selecting web application. Go ahead and set a name for this web app if you want. And this is where we need to go back to Tutor LMS for finding our authorized redirect URI. So back at Tutor LMS, we first need to enable the add-on that will let us configure Google Classroom into Tutor LMS. So go to the add-ons tab of Tutor LMS and scroll down to find the Google Classroom integration and make sure that this add-on is enabled. After you enable it, load the page and you will find a new Google Classroom tab under Tutor LMS. So go ahead and go to the Google Classroom tab. And from here, you can see on the top, this is our redirect URI. So we're going to copy this redirect URI and we go back to the Google Developer Console. Back at the console, we need to add the URI that we just copied into this field. So we click on add URI and we paste this here. Once pasted, all you need to do is just click create. After you hit create, you're going to get your client ID, client secret ID. From here, you need to click on download JSON to download this JSON file, which we need to upload back into Tutor LMS. So go ahead and download the JSON file. And now we're going to go back to Tutor LMS. Back in Tutor LMS, we need to drag and drop or upload the JSON file into this field. So once the JSON file is uploaded here, we're just going to go ahead and click load credentials. Now Tutor LMS is going to prompt us to complete this authorization process and click allow permissions. Now, if you follow the steps so far, you should be greeted with a sign in pop up here. So go ahead and sign in with the account that you want Google Classroom to be affiliated with Tutor LMS. And now you need to select all of these permissions and you need to give access to all of these requirements for Google Classroom to work perfectly with Tutor LMS. After you select all of them, click continue and 
you will be greeted with this screen which will bring you to the Google Classroom tab of Tutor LMS and you will have all your classroom information on this tab. And well, that's it everyone. We hope you were able to follow this tutorial and can have Google Classroom up and running with Tutor LMS. We hope now that with this updated video, this process should have no issues. But if you face any problems at all, be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.